Alright, this video is going to be a quick one. In it, we are going to explore how a function can fail to be differentiable at A. So remember what it, the definition of what it means to be differentiable at A. It means that this limit exists. The limit as h goes to 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a over h goes to a finite number. That's what it means to be differentiable at A. So the question is, is when is it that this limit doesn't exist? So let's look at this uh, question graphically. All right, let's uh, look at this point right here. Okay, and we already know, we'll say this is our A value from previous videos, that the limit, let's look at this one, as x approaches a from the left of this function is equal to some positive number. We'll say a positive uh, number. We'll just say that. How about that? And we see that the limit as x approaches a from the right, so the slopes of my tangent line, of f of x equals some negative number. Since these can't be true at the same time, the left and the right hand limits don't exist, so I know that it is not differentiable there. The same is true here. So at corners, people refer to these as lots of things. At corners, kinks, pointy points, our function fails to be differentiable. All right? Okay, well what about over here? If this is my a value. Well, let's go, I'm going to push pause here for a second and go back to look at our discussion about continuity. Okay, so remember if f is differentiable at a, then f is continuous at a, which means this limit exists. If this limit exists, then this one does. And remember what we explored, what it didn't say. It didn't say that if f was continuous at a, then f is differentiable at a. It doesn't say that. However, it does say something else. I'm going to write it off here to the side. So a implies b, if you've ever seen any logic, tells us that not b implies not a. That is, if f is not continuous at a, then f is not differentiable. For if it were differentiable at a, then it would be continuous at a. So if it's, so if it's not con continuous at a, then it couldn't have been differentiable at a to start with. That's what that says at a. Okay, so let's go back to this picture at a, and what do we know? Because we understand the definition of continuity uh, from our graph for sure. And since I have a break in the graph, I know that f is not continuous at A. Therefore, F is not differentiable at A. So if it's not continuous at A, it's not differentiable at A. So here's two different examples. At corners or kinks or pointy points, F is not differentiable. And at places where F is not continuous, F is not differentiable. And then we have this example right here where, if this is my a value, at a I have um, a vertical tangent line. And remember, what's the slope of a vertical line? Well, it's undefined, which means, and since the limit, or the derivative at a is equal to the slope of the tangent line at a, what that means is this limit, uh, h to 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a over h, which is the limiting of our slopes of our secant lines, remember? And if, if this uh, tangent line has undefined slope, that means this limit is undefined or does not exist. So these are the three ways where a function fails to be differentiable. As I promised, it's short. <laughs>